Good morning, good morning. It is almost noon, y'all. Better late than never, right? So go ahead and spread the love. My name is Rochelle Beachy, and I'm the leader of the Royal Rockstars. I have been with my current company about eight years now. It'll be eight years on Friday. Crazy amazing. And um, I am the leader of the Royal Rockstars. I totally love what I do. And I just want to share with you guys some tips and tricks on how to rock out your business on social media. So go ahead and invite your friends, spread the love, all that lovely stuff. I am going to share this out. Good morning, everybody. I am going to quickly share this out right here. And boom, shakalaka. There we go. And boom. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Laura. Hey, Christina. How are y'all doing this morning? Good morning, Carrie. How are you? <clears throat> Just have some congestion. So I'm trying to like wake up. <laughs> Haven't had much coffee. Actually, this is my first cup of coffee this morning. Believe it or not. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Laura, how are you doing? Hey, Brittany, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna talk about three top tips on how to build your uh, meet, uh, your business on social media, okay? Hey, Brittany, hey, Sarah, make you another cup of coffee? <laughs> Go you, girl. Good morning, Judy. Hey, Savilla, how are you, girl? Cheers, I have more coffee here. Thank you, Christina, thank you, thank you. Good morning, Brenda, how are you guys doing? Just tired because Logan was up every one to two hours last night. Oh, bless your heart, Carrie. Um, I'm doing good. I feel a little bit tired this morning, too. Um, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Misty. Probably had too much sugar yesterday. It, like, pulls down my immune system. So, anyway, I'm excited to be here, and I'm going to share a few tips with you guys. I have been in business on social media for over eight years now okay um before i joined with the current company that i'm with now i was with tupperware believe it or not and of course that one was much harder to do online which now if i know everything that i know now um i would have done probably even more online with that i did a little bit but then i started paparazzi and to make a long story short um i ended up learning how to crush social media okay um i'm still learning how to crush it i don't claim to be a pro in this area but i do claim to have experience right i've had experience and i have tips and tricks that i can share with you regardless of what business you're in so i would love for you guys to drop in the comments and let me know what the name is of your business on social media okay good morning chris good morning cheryl hey derek hey Teresa. just had two maybe too soon for a third stephanie <laughs> good morning good morning oh i'm sorry carrie that's not fun um got your coffee hey wendy hey say word yep mary and martha laura i love 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 that stuff you know i'm addicted um your six-year-old tristan says hi hey tristan how are you good morning tiffany how are you doing Okay, so I've been doing this over um, eight years now. Been with my current company eight years on Friday. And thank you, Sevilla. Yes, I currently have um, over 14,000 team members. Uh, my team has done millions in retail volume this year, okay? Millions with $5 jewelry. So it is insane. We have built up this business. I have a um, business page where I go live from. We sell thousands of dollars of jewelry every month. Um, we have um, a big tribe, and I'm always learning from different people, right? So it is always good to be teachable and coachable in your business because guess what? If you do the same thing that you've been doing five years ago, it's probably not going to work as well as it does like right now. You have to go with the trends. You have to go with the flow of your business, okay? And so I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks here starting in a skinny minute. I'm seeing all y'all's different names for your businesses. Love it, love it. I love it. Um, so we're going to just jump right in and get started. Are you guys ready for the free tips? If you are, just drop free tips in the comments, okay? Um, the biggest thing that you have to understand is you have to understand why are you doing your business, right? And you have to understand that there are going to be ebbs and flows. You have to have your mindset right. If you have your mindset right, then the rest is going to follow, okay? Uh, because in a business, I don't care what business you own, and Sevilla, I know that you guys own, um, you guys work with like um, outdoor furniture and things like that, correct? Um, but anyway, regardless of what business that you own, you have to have a long-term mindset and you have to stick with it for the long-term regardless of what all that means, right? 
Um, regardless of the ebb and flow, you're going to have some seasons where sales are skyrocketing. You may have other seasons where sales are lower. Um, that's just the way it works, especially in retail, okay? So when you're building a business on social media, you have to also understand this is a relationship building business, okay? So if you guys are all about building relationships, drop that in the comments. But our first main tip right here is something that Facebook has created, okay, to help you in your business, okay? And so basically, if you're posting too close together, if the timing is off, you're not going to be seen as well on Facebook, okay? So these are basic tips, but I want to give you guys a few basic tips to really help you with your social media business, okay? So make sure when you're posting that you wait every three hours, okay? Uh, about every three hours to post. So think about it. When are people on Facebook the most, okay? They're probably on first thing in the morning when they wake up, they're drinking their coffee, right? Maybe they grab their phone right when they're still in bed, okay? Which is a little sad. Um, I think it's good to have a little quiet time before you dive into social media, right? But people are going to be on Facebook. They're going to be checking what's the latest and greatest before they head out the door to work, right? Um, maybe they're taking a lunch break, okay? And they're eating their lunch and all. And they're taking a lunch break. Guess what they're doing? Probably, if they have Facebook, they're probably scrolling it, right? Maybe they take a bathroom break and they're scrolling social media, okay? Maybe once the kids are in bed at night, they are going to be scrolling uh, social media. So think about when the most people are on and um, you really need to make sure that you post around that time, okay? Um, it used to be every 1.5 hours. Yeah, I think it's at least, it's between 1.5 to every three hours, okay? So I would just say, just to be safe, wait about every three hours. I would recommend only like three to five quality posts a day on your timeline, okay? So max, so I would say first thing in the morning, you know, uh, maybe one at noon and then one at night, okay? Um, you can post more if you want to. The biggest thing that you're gonna have to understand while you're posting, um, you need to get people commenting right away. So whatever you're posting, you need to make sure that it has value, right? And that it's your original content. So if you're just getting pictures from other people or you're just downloading quotes from Pinterest, um, it's not gonna be original, right? So when you take your own selfie and post it, or you take your own picture of, you know, your coffee and your breakfast or whatever, um, you know, that sort of thing, you need to make sure that um, it's just a good quality picture and then you can post a quote with it. You can find a quote on Pinterest and post it with it, okay? Uh, but make it more original. Put in your thoughts. What are what are your thoughts? What what is something that you're learning? You know, what is what is a free tip that you would give a parent right now with a three year old? You know, I have a three year old toddler, so maybe I could give a free parent tip, right? Depending what business you're in, you can give free tips. You can post inspirational posts. People want to be inspired. They want to be encouraged, right? Inspirational and encouragement, those kind of posts. Um, and they also want to laugh, okay? They also want to laugh. So if there's something that's humorous, you can also post that as well, right? Um, you can do an educational post where you're teaching them something. Um, so what I re recommend is you want people, you know, when you ask a question on social media as well with your posts, um, that's also going to get a lot more feedback. So you have to understand that connection is a key to engagement on Facebook. You want to connect as much as possible, okay? So let's say you post a post on Facebook. It's a cute little selfie with a quote, and then it asks you, you know, it might ask a question on there as well, okay? Once people start commenting on there, you need to start replying back to them, okay? Now, you don't have to reply back. Let's say you get 10 comments in the first 10 minutes. You don't have to reply back to all of those within the first few minutes, okay? Because what's gonna happen is it's basically boosting it in social media. Every time that you comment, then it's boosting it so somebody else is maybe gonna see it that's scrolling through Facebook at that time, right? Especially if you guys have been um, engaging back and forth. You have to understand that engagement is key. And there's a ton of your friends that you probably don't even talk to, probably don't even see when you're scrolling through Facebook. That's because of the algorithm, and we're going to try to crack the code a little bit today, okay? So, um, basically, every three hours, reply back to any comments. So, let's say they're like, oh my goodness, you know, I posted some funny videos last night of Isabel, if you're my friend. Um, I did not make it public, so um, you may not be able to see it, but... Basically, if somebody commented on there, I try to comment back. Now, I didn't comment back to all of them right away. 
Um, but I will probably, you know, later today, I'll probably comment back to a few more, right? So it keeps on boosting it and more people are seeing it as well. Okay. Plus that's just kind. It's just good manners, right? You're not being rude. You're replying back to people. Okay. So that is a big tip is every three hours, reply back and make sure that you have original content. Okay. I know that's more than one thing, but that's my first big tip. Okay. If that makes sense, drop me one of the comments. The second thing that I want you guys to understand is the power of stories in your business. Now, do I always have something in my stories? No, I don't. But I need to do a better job at this. Stories are going to be like the latest and greatest thing. And they really are. They're the latest and greatest thing. Um, instead of us scrolling this way, we're going to start scrolling side to side, right? Through stories and all that kind of stuff. Instagram started at first. Now Facebook has it. And it's really, really powerful. Here's the deal. When you're posting in stories, you need to understand that you need to not just post pictures. For example, like I sell jewelry, right? Now, I do post some pictures in there of jewelry randomly, but I try not to post it too much because if I go on somebody else's story and all they're posting is business, 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 I'm just going to like skip through that story section and I'm going to go on to the next person, okay? Um, you can talk about the business, but make it more personal. So maybe you do a short little video clip and you're like, ah, check out this bleak. Happy Monday. Happy Tuesday, you know? Um... Or you could do a fun little arm candy one and you could take a short little video clip with this arm candy stack, right? You could have it on your arm with a ring and you could, um, you know, show people how that looks and, you know, that sort of thing. Make it more personal. The more personal that you do it, the better it, the better it is. I don't think so. Say word. I think stories are separate, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I'm not... I'm not the Facebook guru on all this. I don't follow, I haven't followed the latest and greatest with this. Um, if somebody knows, you're welcome to comment as well. But from what I understand, stories are separate from your page. So you can post once every three hours or whatever on your timeline. And then your stories are going to be separate algorithm from what it used to be. But things are changing all the time, you guys. So it really is hard to keep up. But stories are more personal. Make it more behind the scenes kind of stuff, okay? Um, more behind the scenes. Um, that's awesome, Judy. So mix it up. I say mix it up for sure. Um, there's certain people that I love seeing their stories and there's other people that they just bore me, right? So make sure that whenever you're posting your stories that, um, you try to post behind the scenes kind of things, you know, maybe a short little, uh, video of you or somebody else. Um, uh, maybe you're a little kid singing a song. Um, just short little clips, short little clips are the best. Awesome, Amanda. Awesome, awesome. So, stories are very, very important. And another thing, you guys, and this can crack the code as well for you guys. Um, if you guys want to know how to crack the code on social media, just drop crack the code. If you want to crack the code, okay, you have to understand that you have to give to get, okay? So, if all you're posting is bye, 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 bye for me. Um, it's probably not going to go as well. This is why you have to remember that this is about, um, relationship. This is about building relationships. And, um, you know, if you like when people come and like and comment on your post, why don't you go and like and comment on somebody else's post as well? Don't just make it about you. See how you can bless other people. So here's a fun, uh, fun way to boost your algorithm through stories. Okay. So number one thing is you have to post stories yourself. Number two thing is you go on your friend's stories, and now what you can do when you go to their stories, you guys, hold on, I'm going to show you all a skinny minute how this works. Super easy peasy, um, and boom shakalaka. Okay, so at the top here, I have my stories, okay? Now, here's Meg. She, she has a lot of fun stories, okay? So Meg, if you're on here, um, she has lots of good stuff in here, but hold on. Um... There's a picture of her daughter, and she's like fifth grade. And so what I could do is I can reply back. Oh, she's getting so big and adorable or something like that, okay? So now I just sent Meg a message, okay? I just sent her a message right there. Um, you're welcome, Stephanie. 
Stories are really powerful because what happens is Facebook is going to connect you with people that you're interacting with, okay? So if you're commenting on people's stories, if you're commenting on their posts and things like that, it's going to show up. Um, your stuff is going to show up in their newsfeed and their stuff is going to show up in your newsfeed. Does that make sense? So let's say I go and comment on somebody's post, okay? All of a sudden, before I know it, I see, you know, Joanne or Jessica or somebody else's stuff coming up in my newsfeed, I'm like, oh, where have they been? Oh, that's cool, I just saw that post. Um, do you know what I'm saying? So stories are really important and when you're commenting on other people's stuff, that's really, really important for you to um, help people find you and you find them, okay? Does that make sense? So that number two is going to be the stories. Number three is what I already, <laughs> I just threw it all together there, y'all. Um, not following my notes very well. But the third one is commenting and messaging. Okay, so when you're commenting on people's stuff, I already talked about this. It's very, very important. Um, you're going to be able to see their stuff. They're going to see your stuff. Same thing with stories. Same thing. Let's say somebody has a birthday. Okay, you could go to their messenger and you could sing them happy birthday. Okay, you could send them a voice clip. Way more personal than just saying happy birthday on a post, right? Um, the more personal that you make things, the more that you connect with people, the better it's going to be, right? So, boom shakalaka, that's tip number three, and I already talked about it earlier. So there you go, guys. So the first one is make sure it's every three hours. Uh, make sure you're replying back to people's uh, comments on your post and that you're posting original content, okay? Try, try to take good quality pictures. Um, you could take a picture, let's say you're out to eat somewhere. You could take a picture of your food or your, you know, you and your husband out on a date and talk about hashtag because of paparazzi, you know, uh, we're out on this fun date. Or you could take a picture of your kids, um, uh, be like, you know, I'm just so grateful that I get to work from home. Um, so many, just, just be creative with what you post, okay? Um, original content is very, very important, okay? So that's the first, first step there. Second step is stories and how powerful that is, you guys. This is just very, very basic info. And the third one is commenting and messaging people, okay? You can comment You can comment on their stories. That's going to send them a, a message straight to Messenger. You can go comment on your friend's post. I mean, I would dare you guys to go to your friends list and maybe scroll down to the bottom somewhere and just start sending some friends some posts, okay? Um, just check in on them. Just be a good human. Don't just do it just to sell them things, okay? Uh, but do it because... You truly care about them as a human, okay? When you do that, when you actually really care about people and they feel you're a genuine heart, um, that's where connection happens. And that's, we need connection. We need community more than ever on Facebook, you guys. We don't need to be blasting out negative stuff everywhere. Um, post things that actually attract people to you, okay? That's part of attraction marketing as well. It's posting positive things that are gonna attract people to you. You know, think about yourself and your brand and all of that. What are some things that stand out about you, right? Um, so when you guys think about Rochelle, I want you guys to drop three things in the comments that you guys think of when you think of me, okay? This could be a little scary, but go ahead. Boom shakalaka. Changing your communication skills as well. Yes, Chris. I sent two custom birthday stories this AM. Awesome, Judy. That's fun, isn't it? I've recently done some of that as well. Um, it's about personality, absolutely. Um, and, and just be, really being yourself, okay? Oh, Carrie, you're sweet. So Carrie says, beautiful, fun. So what is what is something that you think of when you're scrolling through Facebook and you see one of my posts, okay? Um, is there something that stands out? Is there something that I post about a lot? Um, oh, thank you, Madison. Positive, says scary. Bubbly, fun, and inspiring, says Erica. Love, kindness, and fun. Bubbly, motivating, says Wendy. Fun, energetic, got it together. <laughs> Rebecca, if you only knew. I'm a hot mess express girlfriend. Full of personality, beautiful person inside and out. Mildred, all oh, your sweet. Faith, energetic hustler. Thank you, Jessica. Servant leader, kind go-getter, says Jessica. Thank you. Motivated, caring, and inspiring, Madison. <laughs> so is there anything else that stands out? Like what is something that stands out to you with my post? Is there something that I wear? Is there something that I post about more than other things? Just think about it for a little bit. Businesswoman, fun, good trainings, motivation, positive, genuine, empowering. Oh, thank you, Savilla. That means a lot. Um, every time I see Rochelle Beach is live in my notification, I tell my kids, I'll be back. I'm going to watch the training. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Christy, creative, successful, positive, 
crown. Yep, that's a good one right there. See, I branded myself by wearing tiaras all the time, right? We have the Royal rock stars. I'm all about identity. I'm all about speaking life into people and really encouraging people. So that's what it's about. Uh, yeah. You're a coffee drinker and your beautiful crown, says Shelly. Infor formative, great smile because you also give great knowledge, family. You literally are a businesswoman. Definitely, Madison. <laughs> um, so yeah, I totally love what I do and I love helping and inspiring other people. For real, for real. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, think about what are three, three of your char characteristics now. Okay, you guys have been talking about me. Now, I want to hear about you, okay? Your backdrop and your crown are the most noticeable. And yes, coffee talks. Yes, Chris. I know, right? Cheers, coffee. Um, so think about three things about yourself that stand out, okay? Loving people and family, paparazzi family, and selling jewelry information, says Mildred. I think you're talking about yourself now, right? Um, think about three things about yourself that make you stand out, okay? What are three things about you? Maybe you've been hiding out. Maybe you've been hiding out and you've not been posting about yourself and that sort of thing. Um, I want you guys to post about yourself. What are three things? Maybe three gifts that you have. Uh, maybe, maybe you love chocolate. Maybe you love coffee. Maybe you love um, reading good books. Um, Judy, great smile, informative, easy listening. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Mildred, you're sweet. Okay. So, I would love to hear what are three things that stand out about you. Okay? Because it's very important that you sit down and think about that. Um, and you just start branding yourself. Okay? Because you want people to remember you for you and not just for what you do. Right? Um, and you want to connect with people as a real human. Okay? So, the less salesy and the less... Um, you know, that you're like, it's very important to post about your business and things like that. But it's, it's very, very important that as you're doing it, that you're also connecting with people. Okay. Writer, vintage lover, supportive of important causes. I love it. I'm full of joy, energetic, and ready to succeed. Madison. Love it. Hard to speak of myself. That is why I don't post about me much. Okay, Debbie, here's a dare for you, girlfriend. You need to post something about you today. Okay. Tag me in it. I love me, motivational, good sense of fashion, Bobby. Love it, love it, love it. That's awesome. Genuine, love to entertain, sincerely sincerely care about people. Terry Ann, that's awesome. I love that. Love that. Um, so I wanna think I want you guys to think about this. Love co coffee. I'm patient and shy. <laughs> Stephanie, that's fine. I used to be shy and insecure myself, just saying. Judy says I love to see others win and they know I care. I love my kids, family. I work hard, and people seem to notice that about me. Um, <laughs> sorry, Sevilla. <laughs> you probably need some coffee in your life. Authentic, energetic, and love people. Now I want to hear the three things about you, Sevilla, too. Uh, me, loving people, volunteering to help others, a friend to all, and I'm here when needed. Love it, Mildred. You like to snike? Do you mean hike, Kim? I'm not sure what you mean, girlfriend. Yes, Debbie. Okay. So when you come to my retreats, this is something that we work on together, just saying. Honest, loyal, servant leader, love it, love it. I'm easygoing, great listener, and friendly, Judy. Uh, Michelle says I'm goofy, I sing and make up songs, and I've built a wonderful community. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, think about what gifts do you have. And then um, maybe start sharing some of your things that you're actually really good at as well. I recently discovered that I love me, which didn't used to be the case. I try to help others find value in themselves, too. Judy, that's awesome. I love that. That's awesome. Hi, Pumpkin. What are you doing, Precious? <laughs> Hold on, Precious. Hold on. Turn around this way. Do you want to talk to the people? Are you going to sing them a song? Oh, she thinks she's going to sell jewelry again. Look at that. Yeah. Is that amazing? Oh, my goodness. She always runs over here like a... <laughs> like a boss on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> we'll have the whole family here, y'all. Okay, yep. Show the jewelry. I'm telling you guys, I have um, all of the jewelry around me here. Okay, so. Isabel. Let's go get a drink. Okay. <laughs> 
Gotta wait on the child here, a little skinny minute here. Ah, hashtag mom life. Okay, so honest, loyal, servant leader. I'm easygoing, great listener, and friendly. Okay, see ya, pumpkin. Hold on here. Um, love family, Christian love. Huh? Oh, well, it's all good. Um, I love to have fun. Love family, Christian love, and funny. Want to make people smile. I love that, Jackie. Love to have fun, inspire others, and make others feel good about themselves. Love my recovery family, sober since 2002. Bobby, that's awesome. I like to smile. I'm a happy person, and I love kids. I dropped my phone when I was typing earlier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what that meant. Okay. Um, hey, Renee, you're on here. She looks just like your husband. Um, that's sweet, Madison. Thank you. New fashionista in training. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but she was actually adopted. So we totally celebrate her, and we're super grateful for the gift that she is. You're a genuine and real down-to-earth person. I feel comfortable connecting with you. Not all bling and flash, says Gail. Oh, okay. Thank you, darling. Okay, y'all, so I want you guys to think about your awesome self today, and maybe we're going to chat about this some more tomorrow. Um, trying to remember, I'm going to try to be on live tomorrow sometime, but Merle and I are going to go out and, and um, have a fun little date tomorrow, so um, we'll see what happens in the morning. Depends what time I get around and all that, but I feel like this is something we need to chat about a little bit more tomorrow. Renee, I'm so proud of you, girl. You learned to just love me and all my craziness. Yes. Sevilla says, I love to encourage, empower others, love to see people fully embrace who they are created to be. I'm loyal and genuine. Love it, Sevilla. Totally, totally, totally. Uh, Casey, thank you. She looks identical. Thank you for adopting. How beautiful. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm just grateful for her birth mom, you know, that really chose that um, and was willing to sacrifice like crazy for us. So uh, totally a God story. Hey, uh, is it Micah? Mika? Welcome, everybody. Okay, y'all. So we're going to wrap it up today, but I hope to be back tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it's going to be Thursday. Um, and I think there's something that we need to talk about. And we're going to celebrate you guys and chat about some fun things then, okay? So have a beautiful day. Go out there and rock your lovely self. Build those connections on Facebook and rock it out, okay? Have a beautiful day. Love y'all. Bye.